How do you do? How I got started on YouTube? It's kind of a long story. How I got started on YouTube? Well, it's definitely not a short story, but I'm gonna try my best to make it quick. YouTube, when I first heard about it, I was in college. I It was 2005, and this girl I was dating, um, we were in an English class together, and it was like a computer lab or something like that uh, in college. I miss this fucking bro. <laughs> I was here for so long, took so many classes back and forth. She takes me fucking back. These fucking stairs, Jesus Christ, years and years. Kind of miss it. It was like a like a like an English computer lab. You have to do it like to graduate or whatever. I was like, I can't get this song out of my head. Like at the time, this this whole thing called Uranium. I don't know if anybody heard of that shit. Let's make a video on that. Um, and this girl Julia was like the host of it. It was such a good show. like an ending clip of a music video and i was telling her like a trade you made a new video like i want to see it but it like like i gotta be home i don't know when they're gonna show it again like fuck i want to watch it and then she tells me the first time in my life i hear this shit why don't you just go to youtube what the fuck's a youtube she's like yeah go to youtube and, and every like four or five of my friends already knew about it and i had no fucking clue what youtube was like a tv like a tv tube like an old tube like i that like an old tube television like i had no idea what the fuck they were talking about and then she's like let me show you got out of the fucking way so she gets she gets on my computer she goes to youtube.com i'm like dot com what the fuck and then there's like a couple like videos there already but it was a nice way to see your band's music videos instantly that concept was fucking you like that shit never existed ever you gotta understand the fact that that now you can actually like watch a music video whenever you want there's no fucking way i had to literally wait for them to show if i get lucky the video that i want to see like it, it fucking sucked but that's how it was again i'm making the video about uranium there's a show on, on fuse that this girl julia would, would would interview different bands and this was like the metal scene like i'm a metalhead so for me it was like up my alley i was like this is perfect so th that show was like the only thing i had to express like my music you know and the bands that came along because at the time metal wasn't doing so great but youtube was was this thing that came out and i didn't even know about it avenge sevenfold was kind of going up and like i was into music that deep that i was playing and and i was dating and i was trying to get through college i wasn't really paying attention to technology or anything but that's the first time i heard youtube in my whole life fast forward how i got into making videos and got with this girl that I'm no longer with. Didn't get right with her and then I started making YouTube videos. That, that wasn't the case. It was more like a year, almost two years of being with her. I kind of got already used to, to the lifestyle that we had. And then the, like the whole year we always did stuff. And then the next year it was like more stuff. So I kind of realized really fast, like damn, like the life that me and this, this girl have, like we have an adventure. Like we have some cool ass times, you know? We, we go to wineries, we go to concerts. Oktoberfest, we go to go Halloween stuff, we go to Knott's, we go to I've never been to Universal. Like each month or something, like each two months, we figure something out. We go somewhere, we go on vacation, and it's never ending. And that's when I got the idea, like. I think we should make a YouTube channel because you're always with me. I'm always with you. And we're at Disneyland or, or we're always somewhere doing something crazy. I well, we're here. It was a lot longer than I thought. I mean, shorter. Sorry. <laughs> I think that would make a compelling story. 
for YouTube and we can share like our memories here. And that's literally where the concept came from. Like, like why don't we, we record ourselves when we're young? Because everyone is aging. Like, everyone's expiring every fucking day, you know? Like, I think we should record us just being ourselves and enjoying the day wherever the fuck we're at and, and then sharing our journey, you know? Whatever we do, let's record it and let's put it on fucking YouTube. Now, mind you, I had no experience on editing, no experience on like, how to write a story really i just fucking did it i i didn't i didn't think twice about it the only thing i loved about it is i was sharing it with someone that loved i loved and loved me back i think that was like the most beautiful part of it and then recording the concerts also so <laughs> In my mind, at least, I, I figure, why not record this stuff? I have a phone. I have an expensive camera. Let, let's record everything we can because because we're only going to get older and these memories probably won't happen later. Like, only God knows. And then um, it got to the point where my significant other at the time didn't want to, like, record because she didn't look pretty or she wasn't make makeup up. If that's a concept. So I said, all right, no, I, I can't. I can't. I cannot not record because you're not ready. Like, I, I want to constantly keep recording myself. I look like shit. Or I'm skinny or fat. I really don't care. I, I want to record and get this information out or share my experiences. I think that, for me, was more important. Now I have 50 videos on there. And even then, when you watch my channel, it, it's a niche. Like, this is all it is. Like life is so much broader than that, that I believe I, I'm not just one thing. I don't want to just be that guitar player. I don't want to just be a concert person. I don't want to just be that Disney, Disney person. I'm not that person. I'm all those things. And I think that's why my channel is so different because I share all these little concepts and ideas and thoughts and about real fucking conversations about life. And I think that is worth more than, but I obviously I want to entertain them on mine, but like the ideas and, and the thoughts behind everything I do is more important to me than anything else. And that's kind of how I got into YouTube. And um, this year I really want to push making videos. So I'm going to be posting at least one video every Friday as, as best as I can. I was editing yesterday. It literally took me like 10 hours to edit. Jesus Christ, like, but I got through it. That's kind of how I got into YouTube and I've been doing it ever since here and there. So I'm definitely gonna do at least one video every week. I, if I wanna create a song or a poem, I'm gonna record it and say it. You know, I'm gonna express myself on this platform because I think that's important. That's what content is, is for. Not just to, for entertaining, but like to get something out and to help other people. I think that's dope. Like what if I make a poem or a song that motivates you to write your own song about whatever you're, you're going through? I think getting that out is important, man. Because you can't hold all that shit in. Mental health is a real thing. But I hope you enjoyed my video. This is how I got into fucking YouTube. And we're going to keep rolling. Later.